So we are actually on Inno Cigarette, on the coastal part of Inno Cigarette, where we did weeding this morning of the seabird area. And uh, we planted uh, uh, Vetiveria Vita. So we are planting this endemic grass to attract the seabirds for nesting. We know that there were populations of seabirds on islands such as here on Ilo Zigret. Unfortunately, many of the seabirds have been hunted out to extinction or have been predated by introduced mammals. What we're trying to do here on Ilo Zigret is to attract seabirds back onto this island. And the way that we're doing this is to use a technique that has been tried in many places around the world. The use of decoys such as this one for the sooty turn and also cold playbacks. And the combination of cold playbacks and decoys gives the impression to any birds that are flying above that there's a large colony of seabirds on the island. And they get interested in coming down into this island, hopefully breeding, hopefully nesting, and when the young will hatch and fledge from the island, due to phylopatry, the birds will come back to this island as adults and breed again. It is in this process that we are trying to increase to have established populations of seabirds onto this island for the sooty tern, for the common noddy, for the lesser noddy, for the white-tailed tropic bird and the red-tailed tropic bird a whole community of seabirds that will breed again here on the island and play very important roles in terms of nutrient recycling. We now know from studies done uh, in the Chagos that uh, seabirds are very important for fertilizing the land, but also for fertilizing the corals uh, at sea. And when they fertilize corals at sea, this supports improved fisheries. Uh, and so what we are doing here is a whole, uh, trying to restore two ecosystems, ecosystems on the Zigret, but also the ecosystem at sea.